because school's not just about education and um, GCSEs and whatever. It's all about building a person and making that person somebody that is worth having around. Community action, for example, allows our students to reflect on themselves in relation to the community, the local community, which is really very important, and then um, allowing them to think about um, other people outside the local community. So we're thinking about um, the UK and then global issues as well. And a lot of that feeds back into school as well. It's teaching you how to um, be a member of the community and how to take part in activities. I think it's a really good thing that the school does it because like it really does like get everybody like involved in like the community and you get to like really like be part of everything like and also like I've done quite a few like festivals with the younger children so you get to know them and you get to know the teachers and it just it makes you feel more welcome. Like. Because I think that a lot of um, adults see children as like bad behaviour and vandalism and everything and I think if you like interact with the community then everybody knows that we're not like that like we're just like really want to like help and do as much as we can as much. And they bring new skills, new thinking skills um, and empathy with other people um, and then that translates into empathy for their friends, um, their empathy for you know um, issues around the world whether that be climate change or kind of poverty um, you know I think that's something that's really important to our students that sort of sensitivity and thinking about other people. It certainly like helps out with communication so like, you learn loads of new skills and how to like work in different environments. Whatever you do in your life you've got to be a part of the community and it's just making sure you're a good part of this community just teaching you that it's how important it is. Um, what we're doing here at the moment is we're, we're cutting down all of the protruding roots uh, on the path, sides of the path so that um, people, so when they walk, walk their dogs and they, some people course right up here so they don't um, like trip over or hurt themselves. Beardley School have actually been working with us for a number of years now, doing various projects with their community action groups. The work that school groups do here is very important to wildlife, habitat, um, because of the, the numbers of groups that come out, they also get to do quite large chunks of work which we as staff wouldn't get done if they didn't come and help us. It does make us think about like outside of school and the environment. They are making a massive contribution to, to what we do and some of the work they do we just would not be able to even contemplate starting if we didn't have groups like this to work with us not only the knowledge skills but those personal those learning those thinking skills that are so important um, for employment and for the world of work yeah it is it is quite inspiring for the future and what we want to do it just gives us a, like um, an idea really of what we can do and if we're good at it really allowing staff to absorb new skills to work in different ways and then I think cascading those skills and ultimately our goal is to kind of raise levels of attainment um, and through new technologies we can definitely say that that happens not only in art but science and maths and across the board. We are always looking for new ways of working, we're thinking about how we can make education exciting for our students. It did make me think about the future and um yeah, because the architecture, it's something I actually want to do, something along those lines. And so it leads you to think about your future plans and where you want to go after school. Yeah, I think there was um, a new approach to teamwork and working together, because um, normally it's just like figuring out problems and just like writing things down, and, but then actually doing things and like some things that would be related to real life things, like jobs. Um, that's a good approach. Purchasing the animation suite um, in the art department has been absolutely pivotal to the way that we've um, offered new technology and ICT through art. Um, and that really has sort of inspired us to, um, you know, 
purchased the Mac Suite. And I think that that's transformed the way that our students are learning. They're not only making, they're making films, they're making music, they're making animation, they're kind of presentations. Um, so they're working in a rich and kind of diverse way. And I think our students get a very good deal at our school because they are provided with a huge opportunity to go outside, to see the world in a different way, to think about things in a different way. And I think that we challenge them in an exciting way. They allow us to learn in the way that we want to. So some people like mind maps or bullet points or something. They tell us what we've got to do and then we kind of go off and do our own little thing and then we come back and then we've all learnt the same but in a different way, which is really good. And they do support that idea. We need to be an inclusive school. And to be able to do that, we need to look at, the, at personalised learning learning that um, enables individuals to achieve and to have success. I mean certainly when I was um, choosing my options, I'd do the music, but you weren't just channeled down the music route, you were also allowed to do, you know, DT or, or whatever you wished really. When you've got your kind of the basic GCSE subjects, but a lot of extras are also offered. I personally do French and German and I do German after school and I do statistics as well and staff were happy to run these courses. There's a lot of new stuff that I haven't learnt before and it's really interesting on how to use different things and weaponry, it's quite cool really. Doing these kinds of interactive learning with the students provides them with a, a, a whole number of opportunities that cater for all their individual needs. Um, some learners are very kinesthetic, so being able to touch and handle, smell and feel those props, being able to do the, the rifle drill where they're turning around and you know having to, to do certain movements on command, you know, really touches those. Again, the visual and uh, the learning as well, incredibly important. So it, 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 it covers a whole variety of, of students' learning um, in many different ways. You've been learning different things that you normally not know in the classroom. You know, I think that it should be, it should, it's better because it's going to make everything I've learnt now and make everything come alive when I next do my next lesson. The weaker students are able to really um, you know, look, feel, um, even smell, taste sometimes um, the, the different types of foods or, or the different things that they can see. Um, and the more able and gifted and talented learners are able to ask questions, able to really to think about, well, how does this work and why does it work in this way and really stretch their thinking, which again, they do, you know, they do do in the classroom, but having a, a day where they can really focus on it, there's plenty of time to really get engaged, enables them to do that to a higher level. I think we will be able to use it in our lessons, um, this whole reenactment, because it will help us more to understand what's going on and it's been really fun to do this so we'll use we'll be able to remember it and therefore use it in our lessons so we get better in everything so there's lots of different approaches to one single idea and there's not just one answer to one single you know problem whatever like ideas and creations and things we want to do they do help us along with it they do also try and keep us on track with the curriculum but we've got a little bit of leeway. It's a bit boring just looking at books and just looking at it, but actually doing it yourself, it, it sort of helps you learn more and just get a feel for um, what it is that you're doing. We did some architecture work with um, making our own bridges and structures and um, a guy taught us how to make certain structures that are stronger than others. What we want to do is to bring creativity into the curriculum and by creativity we mean creative thinking, getting young people to think for themselves, to problem solve, to find solutions and the faculty day enabled us to highlight uh, that particular dimension. Teamwork is it's a good skill to learn um, whilst doing that sort of thing because um, you have to all work together and collate ideas. That was really good fun working in a team and discussing different ways of making a bridge and how we're going to make it stable because we only had um, sticks and elastic bands. So and The lesson times were more about, it wasn't a set lesson time, it was more about how long the actual thing you were doing lasted as opposed to just 
you've got this amount of time, you've got to fill it. Whereas you take as much time as you need. The animation that we did was basically learning about maths, but in like a different area that we usually would. So we used animation and we made short films for. We targeted at them at like a younger age group, and it was like teaching them basic math skills. Inspired a lot of people to work differently how they usually would and obviously um, make different choices and look at subjects in a different way. I like learning new things. I learn more when I'm doing stuff and everything. And my friends, they've told me that they learn more when they're doing more experiments and writing and doing book work and everything. It was really good interacting with other people because I... It you you do work in partners, but normally you work with friends you know, and it was good to like go into classrooms with people that you know, but not as well as you know your proper friends. God save the king! God save the king! I think that it's a good idea to do activities like this because it gets us all involved and we're able to learn more about it because we're physically doing stuff. A day like today would be helpful back in the classroom because we can write about um, other people's experiences and how that affected them back in their, the time. It's the best way of learning because you're using all your senses, in some cases smell even, uh, but obviously touch, sight, everything, absolutely everything. Very, very good way of learning really. It's really heavy. Today is different because we actually get to see and be back in time with the things that that actually happens, so it gives it a real feel and a mood to what we're doing instead of just standing outside the box and watching you're actually in the box and doing what they would be doing. Well, we had people come in from different places all around the country, so it was really, really good to do that. It was like just as good as going there, so for them to come here is a really, really good advantage. Um, we could get the information from a book, but to do it first hand is different. It's a different learning style because getting hands on makes you really think about it instead of just looking at the pictures. Left turn! Try and get it together. So do it quite a lot in the school that they want you to experience things first hand. So to get an expert from Hartlepool Museum, um, who like, specialises in that particular era of history, when he told us, um, about how they held them and what they wore and what they did. It made us think about it even more. One of the, the priorities for the school is to embrace partnership and for our learners to understand that they can learn from a variety of people in all sorts of diverse situations. It's good to have specialists in the school because um, obviously they're specialised on a specific subject so they know more information about it than our teachers because they have a more broad uh, expertise. We've been, we've been to this school in particular several times before. Um, we did a uh, First World War Day, similar sort of thing where you had different activities. They were shouted at by a sergeant major. Uh, they were taught bayonet practice, very important duty to learn if you're going to the trenches. Uh, and then they saw the realities of warfare and had a look at remembrance. And then obviously if you look around the county, there's quite a few war memorials. So it actually brings it into the community and they can do a lot of work from it. So it sort of sets a scene, these sort of things, and then they can explore further after that. We've got to draw a conclusion from what we've done today. Instead of just naming and listing the items that we've seen, we can actually um, say how they felt, how they smell, how they feel to us. Um, and how it can be interpreted into battles um, and maybe the techniques and methods that they used um, during battle. The students who gain a good experience working with other members of you know, professional people, creative people, filmmakers, um, you know, mathematicians, they come back into school with a renewed vigour and a new enjoyment level um, which then kind of feeds the rest of their education. Beauty School have actually been working with us for a number of years now, doing various projects with their community action groups. And they get a completely different experience to what they'd get in the classroom learning situation. It's practical, hands-on, and they get to see the result of a day's 
work doing something and hopefully some of them might actually get an interest in doing this sort of work long term in the future. We do this uh, once every fortnight uh, on Tuesday. Well, it's, it's more active than actual school day. I mean, we do things in PE, but we never do stuff like this.